the Battle of Cape Esperance, also known as the Second Battle of Saver Island and, in Japanese sources, as the Sea Battle of Saver Island, took place on 11-12 October 1942 in the Pacific Campaign of World War II between the Imperial Japanese Navy and United States Navy. The naval battle was the second of four major surface engagements during the Waddle Canal Campaign and took place at the entrance to the strait between Saver Island and Waddle Canal in the Solomon Islands. Cape Esperance is the northernmost point on Waddle Canal, and the battle took its name from this point. On the night of the 11th of October, Japanese naval forces in the Solomon Islands area, under the command of Vice Admiral Gunichi Mikawa, sent a major supply and reinforcement convoy to their forces on Waddle Canal. The convoy consisted of two seaplane tenders and six destroyers and was commanded by Rear Admiral Takatsugu Jojima. At the same time, but in a separate operation, three heavy cruisers and two destroyers, under the command of Rear Admiral Aratomo Gochu, were to bombard the Allied airfield on Waddle Canal with the object of destroying Allied aircraft and the airfield's facilities. Shortly before midnight on the 11th of October, a U.S. force of four cruisers and five destroyers, under the command of Rear Admiral Norman Scott, intercepted Goto's force as it approached Saver Island, near Waddle Canal. Taking the Japanese by surprise, Scott's warships sank one of Goto's cruisers and one of his destroyers, heavily damaged another cruiser, mortally wounded Gochu, and forced the rest of Goto's warships to abandon the bombardment mission and retreat. During the exchange of gunfire, one of Scott's destroyers was sunk and one cruiser and another destroyer were heavily damaged. In the meantime, the Japanese supply convoy successfully completed unloading at Waddle Canal and began its return journey without being discovered by Scott's force. Later on the morning of 12 October, four Japanese destroyers from the supply convoy turned back to assist Goto's retreating, damaged warships. Air attacks by U.S. aircraft from Henderson Field sank two of these destroyers later that day. As with the preceding naval engagements around Waddle Canal, the strategic outcome was inconsequential because neither the Japanese nor United States Navy secured operational control of the waters around Waddle Canal as a result of this action. However, the Battle of Cape Esperance provided a significant morale boost to the U.S. Navy after the disaster of Saver Island. Background On 7 August 1942, Allied forces landed on Waddle Canal, Tulungi, and Florida Islands in the Solomon Islands. The objective was to deny the islands to the Japanese as bases for threatening the supply routes between the U.S. and Australia, and secure starting points for a campaign to isolate the major Japanese base at Rabaul while also supporting the Allied New Guinea campaign. The Waddle Canal campaign would last six months taking the Japanese by surprise. By nightfall on 8 August, the Allied forces, mainly consisting of U.S. Marines, had secured Tulungi and nearby small islands, as well as an airfield under construction at Lunga Point on Waddle Canal. Allied aircraft operating out of Henderson became known as the Cactus Air Force, after the Allied code name for Waddle Canal. In response, the Japanese Imperial General Headquarters assigned the Imperial Japanese Army's 17th Army, a core-sized formation headquartered at Rebel under Lieutenant General Harukichi Hayakutake, with the task of retaking Waddle Canal. On 19 August, various units of the 17th Army began to arrive on the island. Due to the threat of Allied aircraft, the Japanese were unable to use large, slow transport ships to deliver their troops and supplies to the island, and warships were used instead. These ships, mainly light cruisers or destroyers, were usually able to make the round trip down the slot to Waddle Canal and back in a single night, thereby minimizing their exposure to air attacks. Delivering troops in this manner, however, prevented most of the heavy equipment and supplies, such as heavy artillery, vehicles, 
and much food and ammunition from being delivered. In addition, they expended destroyers that were desperately needed for commerce defense. These high-speed runs occurred throughout the campaign and were later called the Tokyo Express by the Allies in rat transportation by the Japanese. Due to the heavier concentration of Japanese surface combat vessels and their well-positioned logistical base at Simpson Harbor, Rebel, and the victory at the Battle of Saver Island in early August, the Japanese had established operational control over the waters around Juadal Canal at night. However, any Japanese ship remaining within range of American aircraft at Henderson Field, during the daylight hours, about 200 miles, was in danger of damaging air attack. This persisted for the months of August and September 1942. The presence of Admiral Scott's task force at Cape Esperance represented the U.S. Navy's first major attempt to wrest nighttime operational control of waters around Waddle Canal away from the Japanese. The first attempt by the Japanese Army to recapture Henderson Field was on 21 August, in the Battle of the Tenaru, and the next. The Battle of Edson's Ridge, from 12 to 14 September, both failed. The Japanese set their next major attempt to recapture Henderson Field for 20 October and moved most of the 2nd and 38th Infantry Divisions, totaling 17,500 troops, from the Dutch East Indies to rebel in preparation for delivering them to Waddell Canal. From 14 September 9 October, numerous Tokyo Express runs delivered troops from the Japanese 2nd Infantry Division as well as General Hayakutake to Waddell Canal. In addition to cruisers and destroyers, some of these runs included the seaplane carrier Nishin, which delivered heavy equipment to the island including vehicles and a heavy artillery other warships could not carry because of space limitations. The Japanese Navy promised to support the Army's planned offensive by delivering the necessary troops, equipment, and supplies to the island, and by stepping up air attacks on Henderson Field and sending warships to bombard the airfield. In the meantime, Major General Millard F. Harmon, commander of United States Army forces in the South Pacific, convinced Vice Admiral Robert L. Gormley, overall commander of Allied forces in the South Pacific, that the Marines on Waddell Canal needed to be reinforced immediately if the Allies were to successfully defend the island from the next expected Japanese offensive. Thus, on 8 October, the 2,837 men of the 164th Infantry Regiment from the U.S. Army's American Division boarded ships at New Caledonia for the trip to Waddle Canal with a projected arrival date of 13 October. To protect the transports carrying the 164th to Waddle Canal, Gormley ordered Task Force 64, consisting of four cruisers and five destroyers under U.S. Rear Admiral Norman Scott to intercept and combat any Japanese ships approaching Waddle Canal and threatening the convoy. Scott conducted one night battle practice with his ships on 8 October, then took station south of Waddle Canal near Rennell Island on 9 October, to await word of any Japanese naval movement toward the southern Solomons. Continuing with preparations for the October offensive, Japanese Vice Admiral Gunichi Mikawa's 8th Fleet Staff, headquartered at Rebel, scheduled a large and important Tokyo Express supply run for the night of the 11th of October. Nishin would be joined by the seaplane carrier Chitos to deliver 728 soldiers, four large howitzers, two field guns, one anti-aircraft gun and a large assortment of ammunition and other equipment from the Japanese naval bases in the Shortland Islands and at Buen, Bougainville, to Waddle Canal. Six destroyers, five of them carrying troops, would accompany Nishin and Chitos. 
The supply convoy, called the Reinforcement Group by the Japanese, was under the command of Rear Admiral Takatsugu Jojima. At the same time but in a separate operation, the three heavy cruisers of Cruiser Division 6, AOBA, Kinogasa, and Furiotaka, under the command of Rear Admiral Aratomo Gochu, were to bombard Henderson Field with special explosive shells with the object of destroying the CAF and the airfield's facilities. Two screening destroyers, Fubuki and Hatsuyuki, accompanied crewed of six. Since U.S. Navy warships had yet to attempt to interdict any Tokyo Express missions to Waddle Canal, the Japanese were not expecting any opposition from U.S. Naval Surface Forces that night.